Hey guys, it is wrap up time for the Under Hyped Reads Readathon. So this week I read one and a half books, which is kind of a fail. I probably would have read that in a normal non readathon week. However, I also found a house that I want to move into, and my husband and I got pre qualified for a mortgage. So this week, like as a human, as opposed to this week as a reader, was successful enough. Also, the book that I actually finished, The Seas by Samantha Hunt, was so good that it counts for like five books. So I certainly spent my limited time in a worthwhile way. So on day one, I read 97 pages of The Seas. On day two, I read 38 pages of The Seas. And on day three, I read 58 pages of The Seas and finished it off. And then I also got five pages into The Somnambulist before it was bedtime. Day four, I read 40 pages of The Somnambulist. Day five, I read 77 pages of The Somnambulist. Day six, I read 38 pages of The Somnambulist. And day seven, I read 12 for a total of 363 pages or thereabouts. I just did the math in my head. So yeah, not amazing, but I did manage to read some every day. I, I didn't miss any days what with all of the house buying craziness. And that's really all I can talk about right now. I want to give The Seas a proper review of its own because it was awesome and it was the most underhyped of all of the underhyped books that uh, were on my TBR. And so I, I want... want I want to make more people know about it, and so I'm going to give it its own review as opposed to tucking it into some wrap-up video. And The Somnambulist is a modern gothic mystery type of thing, so a lot of foundations have been laid, but I still don't actually know like what the story is really about, so I can't talk about that one yet. So I will see you guys soon with a review of The Seas, and I hope you have a lovely day.